Do you struggle with self-image? Do you like who you are? Do you look in the mirror and think, wow, I am so thankful I look like this? Or do you look in the mirror and think, oh no, it's you. If you struggle with self-image, you're one of many people around the world that are exactly in the same boat. We're going to talk about that and so much more today on how to improve your self-image on this brand new season of Going Deeper. Welcome to today's show. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that voyages into the deeper subjects of life, from mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also goes even further into more focused areas such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. Now please welcome Mind, Body, and Soul's very own, John Morris. Hey folks, and welcome to another brand new and exciting season of Going Deeper. We are here. If you were here with us in the last episode, which I believe was last week, of Going Deeper, we've changed everything. We're all nice and chilled out now, and we're ready to rock and roll with a brand new season of Going Deeper, where we help you go that little bit deeper in understanding a specific topic, question, or situation that you may find yourself in. I should introduce myself, shouldn't I? If you don't know who I am, because I'm all differently dressed now, I'm John Morris, the coach for the creative mind, psychologist in training, specializing in teens and families. And I hope you're doing great today. Today, as I said, we're looking at self-image. Now, what is self-image? Self-image ultimately is how we feel about ourselves. It's ultimately when we look in the mirror in the morning, noon, and all night, and we look at ourselves, and it's what we think ultimately. Now, where does self-image come from? Well, it comes from a number of different places. Self-image and our view of ourselves comes, first and foremost, from ourselves. You know, when we look in the mirror and we say, Oh, I look very nice today. Or, John, that, that blue shirt you've got on makes you look all big and strong. Or, it comes from our own desires. And you always say, well, we're a little bit closer. I'm not where I was, but I am, you know, I'm getting where I want to be. It also comes, believe it or not, from our social circles. Our social circles can really, really influence our self-image. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But mainly, our self-image is our view of our self. Now, what are some of the things that can really, really skew if? Let's start with the negatives. Negatives are always easier and sometimes more fun to deal with than the, the positives, believe it or not. What are some of the things that really can skew if? Screw up your view, your self-image view of yourself. Well, it can be your faulty thinking. Remember, everything starts with a thought. Ralph Waldo Emerson said the, the ancestor to everything is a thought. Everything that we look around, see, feel, touch, taste, smell, it all came from a thought. Thoughts are really powerful. And if you don't believe me, when you look in the mirror next time and you say to yourself, wow, I look amazing. I look really good. People say to me, how, do I, how am I so confident? Because I look in the mirror. I don't look for the negatives or anything that's there. I look and say, wow, I'm glad to see you. It's amazing to see you this morning. Some may say that that's far-fetched, but the difference is in being really confident or not being confident. As a friend of mine once said, well, I've tried it my way and it hasn't worked, so let's try it your way and get a little bit more confident. Things that can skew if your view can be your faulty thinking. It can be things that you're putting into your mind, that you're listening to, that you're reading, that you're watching, that you're comparing yourself to on social media. Social media, folks, is a killer. And that's why I firmly believe in the programs that we do that you've got to limit your use on social media because a lot of it is false. You know, when you look at stuff on Instagram and you say, oh, wow, she looks really attractive. He looks really buff. He looks really strong. A lot of it, folks, is done with... Believe it or not, Photoshop, editors, all kind of different things. And when you know that, then all of a sudden you can make the changes that you need in order to be a little bit wiser. Other things that can you know, really, really create faulty thinking within you can be things like your social group, your peer group. If you've surrounded yourself with people that, yes, accept you, but don't make you feel good about yourself, don't make you feel excited about yourself, don't make you, you know, wake up in the morning and think, man, I'm an amazing human being. How amazing am I? Well, let me give you an, a, a, an instance, or for instance, let me give you a little bit of statistics. Albert Einstein once figured out that it's a one in four trillion chance that you could be here on this earth 
looking as you do and being as amazing as you are. How awesome is that? So next time you sit there and think, man, I'm a mistake, I'm this, I'm that, and the other, watch what you speak over yourself. We're going to cover that next week, actually, um, the messages that we send ourselves, because those two go hand in hand. But folks, if people that you surround yourself with are not building you up, are not, you know, building your confidence, not helping your self-image, not making you feel more loved about yourself, more passionate about yourself, more in tune with yourself, then you've got to ask yourself the question, are these really the people that I want to be around? But ultimately, are these the people that are going to help me get from where I am to where I want to be? And that doesn't have to be in a, in a big, you know, life-changing, world-shattering you know, goal. It can be, I want to feel more confident about myself. Well, how do I do that? Surround myself with people that are confident, that are going to build themselves up, that are going to build me up. And then you go from where you are to where you want to be. That's the same as goal setting. How do you get more how do you get more self-confident? Because I know that's ultimately a question that I've been asked time and time and time again by teenagers, by adults, by grandparents, by kids. How do you improve your self-image? First of all, you need to know this. I like having these because I this this is a dramatic part. You need to know this. You are perfect the way that you are but you can improve. You are presently perfect exactly as you are, but you can improve. I want you to think about that. How can you improve upon perfection? It's kind of a conundrum, isn't it? But there is a purpose in saying this. I want you to know that you are exactly, exactly, amazing as you are right now. As, I, as I'm looking at you through this lens and I'm connecting with you and I've got the energy that's coming from me to you into this particular broadcast and into this program, you are perfect as you are. Beautiful, wonderful, fearfully and wonderfully made. A, four, a one in four trillion chance that you would be here right now and however many multiple trillions, maybe octillions, chance that you would be watching this video right here right now for me to tell you that you are amazing you really are amazing but it doesn't matter what i say it matters more what you believe so i want to ask you a question now i want you to observe your thoughts i want you to observe and think about what messages do you say about yourself? Do you say, I'm wonderful, I'm amazing, I'm beautiful, I'm, I'm happy, I'm powerful? No, not to anybody else, but to yourself. Or do you look in the mirror and say, I don't like you. You don't look nice. Because what you believe you will become. If you believe firmly that you are gorgeous, you are wonderful, you are handsome, you are amazing, and you tell yourself that over and over and over and over again. And you start believing, you start connecting with that vision, that emotion. You will be amazed very quickly how your life changes. But I also want to ask you, are you observing what you're watching? Are you surrounding yourself with people that are miserable? Are you surrounding yourself with music that is miserable? Are you surrounding yourself with people that just bring you down and make you feel rubbish about yourself, but you're with them because there's no one else for you to be around? Be aware of the messages that you're sending to yourself, that others are sending to you, and if they don't serve you and they don't help you, then you need to shed them. You need to say no more. I need to move on. As we covered last time in transition, sometimes you've got to take that, that step and say, no, I'm not having this. Because guess what? If you don't do it, no one's going to do it for you. You are an amazing, amazing person. Whether you're a child, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult, whether you're a grandparent, you are incredible. And I know for a lot of people, particularly teenagers watching this, they might think, oh, well, that's a really nice pep talk, John. That sounds really, really good. But when you do the, the math and the science behind how you got here, how you've gone through all that you've gone through, you're still here. You will know 
in yourself that this is not a mistake, this is not an accident. Sometimes people believe that they're a mistake and an accident because they've nothing in their romance, they've nothing positive to believe about themselves. Choose to believe. Choose to change the way your life is going. You've got the power in your mind to choose. You've got the power in your mind. You have got so much amazing potential inside you. And I don't even know you. But I don't need to know you because I know what human beings are capable of. And when they know that they're loved and that they know that they are amazing, their life changes dramatically. How amazing is that? Remember, one in four trillion chance that you would be here on this earth right now. How incredible is that? Well, folks, I'm going to leave you with that little thought about self-image. To improve your self-image, you must be aware of what you are listening to, thinking about, speaking about, talking about. You must be aware of yourself. Secondly, you must be aware of who you surround yourself and who you spend your time with. Do they build you up? Do they encourage you? Do they make you feel passionate and wonderful about yourself? Or do they drag you down? And thirdly, if you are not where you want to be, don't blame anybody else. You take charge. You take control. And you see, you know what? This group of friends in particular aren't friends really at all. They don't make me feel good about myself. They don't build me up. And they don't lead me from where I am to where I want to be. If you do these three things, plus join us next week when we're going to be looking at, it's what's called the I am's, okay? And I'll explain all that later on. But if you do these things and really, really monitor how you speak about yourself and the words that you use, you will be so much further on. And I'm so excited for you. Folks, welcome to another exciting transition in your life. Welcome to the dawn of the rest of your life. Your life will never, ever be the same when you start practicing these things. And I'm so excited for you. I know it's worked in my own life and I know it can work for you. Well, folks, we are out of time, but I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Going Deeper. I have been your host, John Morris, the psychologist in training, the coach to the creative mind, specializing in teenagers and families. And if you would like to support us on Patreon, you can just go down to the caption section below. You can click the link. You can support us on Patreon. You can support the show from $10, eight pounds a month. That's not even the, that's not even a cup of coffee for your week. Okay, you spend more than that, I'm sure. You can, you can get into group coaching as well from $30 a month. $30 a month for group coaching at the end of, of the last Thursday in every single month. And you've even the option to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. If you're serious about going from where you, wanna, from where you are to where you want to be, then get involved with these group coaching programs. Plus, we're going to have some amazing things that are going on. And, and stuff that's all, all, oh, it's going to be incredible. We're starting a movement, folks, called Join the Cause, and we want you to be part of this as well. Join the Cause, end teenage suffering. That is our goal. That is our mission. And we're putting together a phenomenal team where we're going to do this. We're starting in the United States, but we've already got many clients in Scotland, which is wonderful. And again, you can help change the lives of people around the world. If you don't have the time or, or maybe the, the ability to be able to do it yourself, then support what we're doing financially, because that's what's going to make the difference. You can support me through university as well, you know, from, for, for getting my Bachelor in Science and Psychology. So as I can understand the minds a lot better than what I already do. And how amazing would that be when you understand the situation, you can understand how to change it like that. How incredible is that? How wonderful. Don't forget, folks, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And for the show, tell a friend, because it could be the very thing that helps them in their hour of need and their time of despair. And I've been your host. Come see us again next week. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon. Do you... Your son or daughter struggle with direction, clarity and purpose. Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. 
Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh. you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch. Let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other. And I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks take care god bless and i will see you soon